Hi everyone, welcome to Guru Squad. Today we'll show how to create a job that will only copy files that have been modified in the last X number of days. X number of days could be one day or two days or three days as you choose. So once you have the application open, right click and say create a new job. We will skip the wizard. Now we'll just give this job a name. Copy last two days from share one. So this is just a, a name of the job. Now we can either paste it or we can browse to the location. So we're just going to say we're going to copy files that have been modified in the last two days. So we select that. Then we go in and specify the destination. I'll just make the destination somewhere local as well. I'll just put it as share two. And we would like to copy the files that have been not created prior to the number of days, but in the last number of days. So we select this option, and we'll just say two. So now this basically sets the criteria to copy files have been modified in the last couple of days. Click OK. Now when I select this option, I want to normally I recommend that we turn off the option copy empty folders. This way, if you have any folders that don't have any data that match the criteria copied in the last couple of days, then those folders won't be created and you end up with a lot of empty folders. Now we've made all those selections. We can go ahead and click Save. Now we go ahead and right click and say Start New Job. Now the job will, is queued. Once it's run, it should look at data, files and folders on Share 1. Any files or folders that any files that don't ma don't match the criteria of the last couple of days, they will be skipped. Files that match that criteria will be copied to share too. So now we go in and we look at the source. The source has a lot of files here, or several files here that were not modified previous more than uh, two days, and then this file was modified in the last couple of days. Same thing in marketing. We have one file here that was modified in the last couple of days. And accounting does not have any files that were modified in the last couple of days. If you go look at the destination, we'll notice that we only have the, the file that was modified today in the root, and marketing also has that file included. However, the accounting folder did not get included. Hopefully this demonstration shows how to copy files and modify in the last couple of days. And you can basically build on that criteria as you wish. Thank you for viewing and come back to watch additional videos. Thanks.